Hello all, this video is on getting started with MicroPython on the new Raspberry Pi Pico module. This uh, Pico module is designed by Raspberry Pi using RP2040 chip which is dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus uh, processor with 256 KB internal RAM and 2 MB onboard flash memory. It can be programmable in C and MicroPython. This video is on MicroPython. Unlike the Raspberry Pi uh, boards, this is not SBC. Raspberry Pi 3, 4, uh, 0, W, everything is SBC, single board computer. But Raspberry Pi Pico is just a microcontroller and not SBC. All the pins are all castellated pins, so it can be easily stacked or uh, soldered to other modules. Uh, to access the GPU pins, you can solder bug sticks like this so that this module can be plugged onto breadboard easily. Uh, this module has got uh, two SPA, two I2C, two UART, and three 12 bit ADC and 16 PWM channels. And just like Arduino, it is a microcontroller and not SBC. In this video, we will see how to uh, use uh, this Pico board with MicroPython programming. The RP2040 has got uh, uh, 30 GPU pins including 4 analog inputs but on board you have access only for 26 GPU pins including 3 ADC inputs. And it has got inbuilt uh, temperature sensor and for peripheral support 8 PAOs. To start with, we will connect this uh, device to Windows machine. There is also a 3 pin uh, SWD serial wire debug which is, uh, uh, which is not uh, implemented in MicroPython. Only in C, C plus SWD is possible. Open uh, this PC, that is my computer. And then press hold the boot cell button and connect the USB to the PC. Now uh, Raspberry Pi Pico will open as a mass storage device just like any other pen drive it will appear as a mass storage device. If you open the device manager it will show up under portable devices as RP2 just like any other pen drive it will appear as a mass uh, storage device. Double click to open the RP2 you will see two files one is the info file and the other one is the index html file double click the html file and uh, you will be taken to the official raspberry pi pico website here you can see uh, uh, good documentation uh, getting started with the micro python getting started with c c plus plus and then uh, if you scroll down you can see the board specifications key features and then the pin configuration the documentation is very good uh, with the pinout diagram and a data sheet and getting started uh, uh, pdf file as we are interested in uh, micropython click on getting started with micropython and then scroll down to see the uf2 file this is the uh, uf2 is uh, microsoft usb flashing format file for uh, implementing the MicroPython firmware. So download this UF2 file and then open the uh, RP2. Now drag and drop the UF2 file onto the RP2. Now the RP2 uh, window will uh, disappear indicating that MicroPython firmware is implemented on Pico. If you open the device manager, you can see the Pico appears as USB serial device and a COM port is allotted now. Not on this COM port. Now you can use any uh, uh, terminal window like PuTTY and then uh, open in serial mode, uh, provide this COM port. Now you can test the MicroPython commands. We can test uh, a basic print command, print hello world. You will see the result and then the three greater than symbols which is called Chevrons of uh, MicroPython. This is the MicroPython interpreter. Functions are all uh, called modules in MicroPython. You can uh, get the help of modules 
using the help command as we are interested in gui software let us use thony python thony python is a nice uh, uh, ide for uh, uh, testing micro python on pico download the latest version of thony python and install it open thony python and then uh, from top click on tools and then uh, options and then click interpreter select micro python raspberry pi pico this raspberry pi pico will appear only in the latest version of uh, thony python so always ensure that you download the latest version there is also an option to install my micro python firmware from within this uh, options itself click on install button and then uh, uh, press hold the boot cell button and then connect the usb uh, to the pc and then click install now micro python firmware will be installed from within thony python as you have already uh, dragged and dropped the uf2 file this step is not necessary now at the bottom you can see the micro python interpreter with three greater than symbols this uh, great this is called chevrons of uh, micro python interpreter here you can test any micro python commands let us test uh, pr basic print command it will print the uh, characters and you can import any functions that is modules we will import uos and then uos.list.dir will list the files inside the micro python now at present there is no file even boot.py is not shown click on the red button to stop and then at the top you can feed in the code micro python code first we'll import the uh, pin class from uh, machine module instead of importing a full machine module we'll import only the pin class which supports the gpo and the next line is uh, we'll import the uh, sleep class from the u time module this is for delay in micro python time is uh, called as u time so from u time we'll import uh, sleep and then we will create an led object with the two parameters the first parameter is pin 25 which is the uh, inbuilt led pin and the second one is output declaration pin dot out and then we start the never ending loop while true colon and on return you will see a indentation indentation is equal to braces and this is very important in micro python and we uh, give led dot value as uh, we'll just toggle the led using not uh, function and then we will call the sleep uh, 0.5 seconds sleep now click on file save as you will get two options one is to store on computer and the second one is store on raspberry pi so we have to store it on raspberry pi pico so save as and select select uh, pico the file name must be pico uh, main.py you should not give any other name the name should be main.py as micro python will look out for main.py for automatic execution now save this file and then click on the green button on the top this is the run button click on that you will see the inbuilt led flashing according to uh, the code now click on the red uh, stop button to stop the execution auto execution and you will get the uh, chevrons at the bottom you can uh, test the command uh, that is import uos and then uos dot list directory will list the files inside the pico now you have got the main dot pi which we stored earlier now let us uh, connect an external led uh, for this plug on the uh, pico to breadboard and we'll connect an led at gpu 15 that is the last pin on the top gpu 15 and the third pin from there is the ground pin so let us connect an led here uh, the long lead of led will go to gpu 15 and the short lead uh, to ground through a resistor a 470 ohms resistor now inside the code uh, let us change the uh, led object 
that is the first parameter to 15 previously it was uh, 25 that is inbuilt led now change it to 15 and then click on file save now click on the green green run button to execute now you can see the external led blinking that is uh, the led connected at gpu 15 is now blinking previously we blinked the inbuilt led now external led on board there is only a boot cell button there is no reset button let us uh, add an uh, uh, add an external reset button the reset button can be connected between run and ground pins the run pin is uh, the 11th pin from the uh, uh, from the usb socket that is if you hold it like this from left hand side it is 11th pin and the 13th pin is ground so we will add a small reset switch this is a four leg reset switch we will connect only the top two pins just across the reset pin connect the run uh, pin and the ground now if you press the button it will act as a reset this is the reset button as there is no re inbuilt reset button on pico we will add like this now to uh, get the board to r back to factory default condition there is another uf2 file if you scroll down the official website at the bottom you will see resetting flash memory there you will see another download uf2 file and download that file that is uh, flash uh, nuke file uh, press and hold the boot cell button to open the rp2 and then uh, drag and drop the uh, flash nuke you have to file to the board now your raspberry pi pico will be reset to the factory condition thank you for watching